2K Sports is proud to present to you Game 5 of this first round Western Conference matchup. Alongside Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan, the fourth member of our crew. From the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Well, guys, we know Russell Westbrook is fearless on the court and with a sense of fashion. Growing up around Los Angeles, he said, I felt like every day was the first day of school. That's how it was the minute I woke up. And guys, he's starting to release his own lines of clothing and accessories. I have a couple in my closet. Back to you. Influential with his taste for sure, David. Thank you. The starters for the Utah Jazz, Conley and Mitchell, the talented backcourt pair. At the forward slot, it's Bogdanovich and Ingles. And it's Gobert in at the five. And for the Rockets, Tucker and Capella are up front. Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. And it's Green in at the three, the small forward. And it's going to be the Jazz off the tip. Westbrook against Conley. Pass to Bogdanovich. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. The D making that layup look very uncomfortable for him. Good aggressive work down low. Harden can't hit. And it's Mitchell with the ball for the chance. Bogdanovich finds Engel. And that one drops for him. I love Bogdanovich's ability to put the team first. When he sees one of his guys open, he's a willing ball mover. Now here's Green. Passes it to Tucker. Five on the clock. Harden inside the three-point line. Here's Capella. And he drops in the layup off the glass. In the massive wingspan of Capella, he excels at using it to gobble up misses at a high rate. Conley, the pass to Gobert. Mitchell gets to Conley. For the three. It's rebounded by Houston. They're looking to bounce back after the bitter loss on Saturday. Total embarrassment. I was shocked at how poorly they played. I think they were shocked. They just had nothing. They look, they look very defeated out there. They get it back. The setup's good. That's the shot they're looking for. But you can't get them all to go. And Harden wide open. He shoots. Harden missing again. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of score. And they pick up two. And it's great to see Bogdanovich spreading the ball out. I mean, possesses good size, which allows him to see over defender. Now here's Westbrook. And Westbrook throws it down hard. Puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does. He really does put pressure on him. And guys, it's clear, though, he enjoys showing off his athleticism. He can't give him these opportunities. Here's Ingles. Here's Mitchell. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Utah shooting their first free throw of the game right now. throw drops for Mitchell. First quarter of basketball just over two and a half minutes play. Or three Westbrook. It's good from long range. Westbrook's got five. Whether he's attacking the basket or squaring up from long range Westbrook is always dangerous. Now here's Gobert. The pass to Bogdanovich. Mitchell outside. Again, the Jazz score. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, that's because he's getting his number called early. I mean, he's doing his part to help carry the offensive load. And the dunk by Capella. Oh, wow, I just love the commitment by Capella. Rolling to the rim hard, even just after setting that perfect screen. Conley gets to go there. Bogdanovich passes to Conley. Over Westbrook and plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. And there's the foul against Houston. The Jazz shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. <laughs> that free 
free throw, no good. Well, Kevin, that's just the veteran leadership Conley gives this team. I mean, it's, it's tremendous, isn't it? <laughs> an, an effective two-way player with a high basketball IQ. Houston, a whole new five on the floor. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group. Here. Ed Davis is checked in for Gobert. Green comes in for Joe Ingles. Blaise O'Neal's checked in for Bogdan. And it's Moutier in for Donovan Mitchell. Uh, uh, not what you expect out of him. He was uh, due to cool off a little bit. Like House dishes to Rivers. Fires for three. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. Uh, it's big when Rivers connects from outside. Really helps space the entire floor for the squad. Here's Conley. That shot misses. Chandler with the defensive effort. This offense has really been clicking. And they know it, guys. They're playing right now with the kind of energy that is hard to deal with. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Houston shooting their first free throw of the night here. And the Jazz making a change here. Axum's checked in. throw drops for house 143 left here in the opening quarter Exum picks to Moody and they get it another miss by Utah it's Gordon with the ball he brings it up for Houston they're leading by eight and it's good two points excellent all-around performance so far against the big lead yeah, Greg, they've come out of the gate strong at both ends of the floor. Just, just in total control so far. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jams. They're trying to stem the tide here. And yeah, they have to regroup and, and revisit their strategy at the defensive end. Team left to play in the first quarter. Moutier against Gordon. Davis up top. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will retain possession. Rocket two. Here's Moutier. And they've done a nice job controlling the defensive backboard to start this game. It's Rivers on the wing. And McLemore kicks to Rivers. Over O'Neal. Rivers can't get it to go. Jazz trail by 10. And here's Exum. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Okay, listen, you gotta body him up when he's in the paint. If you play off of him, then that's just two easy points. Moutier against Gordon. Let's it go from deep. That one doesn't drop. And so it's the Houston Rockets holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. And we'll be right back after this. A unique upbringing for Clint Capella. Spent years in a welfare orphanage in Switzerland. He said he never imagined he'd come this far. As a kid, I wasn't even dreaming about that far. I would say that it's even past my dreams. I mean, now I'm just living the moment, trying to work hard, uh, as hard as I can, and just enjoy the present. 
enjoy the present. Just an inspiring story, Greg. It gives you perspective on why you should be grateful for everything you have. Kevin, without a doubt, Capella's upbringing helped shape him, and, and the hard work he continues to put in is really admirable. So glad to have you with us here as we bring you more action from Portside at Game 5. The guys of the Rockets jumps out to you from a number standpoint. An impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. Well, yeah, this is their preferred pace, and, and it's gotten them out to an early lead. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. And so in the game for the Jazz, they've got O'Neal. Green is out there with Davis. Then it's Exum, and it's Moutier in at the shooting guard. And the Jazz with possession. The Rockets making the shot. To Exum. Pass to O'Neal. Here's Moutier. No good on the three. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out rebounded. Well, you really do have to D up Gordon from deep. I mean, he doesn't need much time to get his shot off. And the Jazz call time here. Going with an almost entirely new group here. Rudy Gobert, he's checked in for Davis. Joe Ingles comes in for Jeff Green. Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Royce O'Neal. And it's Mitchell in for Moody. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And I tell you, Bogdanovich is crafty inside. Now knows how to get under the skin of the defense there and forces them to foul. And the first one at the line is good. And Bogdanovich is a confident, efficient player. A guy who can play either the two or three spots on the floor. Mike Conley's checked in for Utah. And so Bogdanovich nails both of them. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played. Harden inside the three-point line. The offensive rebound. Gobert with the block. Mitchell against Harden. Mitchell's shot is good. Mitchell's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Jams. Here is Harden. The shot, no good. Gobert with the defensive effort. To the middle. Here's Ingles. Kicks to Gobert. Ingles trying to get open. Gobert, the pass to Ingles. Mitchell outside. Puts up a three. That shot, no good. And Houston the other way. Westbrook drives in. Goes straight through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. It's going to go on Boyan Bogdanovich. Rockets have shot just one free throw earlier. One for one in the game. One shot. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for the Jazz. A 12-point game. Oh, the lob to Gobert, and slam dunk by Gobert. 
Oh, the floor's general skills of Conley. I mean, he has a fantastic feel for when his teammates need the rock. Harden inside the three-point line. Ingles with the rebound. And he's lucky his teammates have picked up the slack. I mean, this shooting has been horrific. Westbrook against Conley. Here's Gobert, and that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got three assists tonight. Here's the lob to the hoop and the dunk by Capella. Uh, the main strength of Capella's offensive game, I mean, he uses his athleticism to power home these alley -oops. To the inside, Ingles off on the way. Rockets leading by 10. Harden gets the bucket. Unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Oh, yeah, that's what you love about him. He shows no mercy, even with a comfortable lead. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Near the three-point line, it's Westbrook. Houston with a new 14. And it's Capella missing. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be, because he is so strong in the paint. Finally, the pass to Gobert. to five on the shot clock. That one drops for him. Conley's got his second basket of the night. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball time inside time and go strong to the rim. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. Ladies and gentlemen, dance team. Both teams making some changes here. House dishes to Chandler. Gordon deciding where to go with it. Shot clock at six. McLemore inside the line. The Rockets with another miss. Jazz trail by eight. And if they're thinking, they can get a two for one here. You just have to manage the clock correctly. You know, sometimes it's easier said than done if you also want to get a good look. Now here's Rivers. Outside Gordon. A three ball. Got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. Oh, he just caught the defense now. He shoots a very high percentage from three-point range when there's no hand in his face. Three-second difference between shot clock and game. Here's Green, banked in off the glass. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Now here's Gordon. Pass to Rivers. There's the three. The shot, no good. A big-time effort for Eric Gordon, providing a lot of energy for the Houston Rockets. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Coach Quinn Snyder. Quinn, what concerns you most about the first half? Well, I think the tempo is in their favor right now. They're, uh, they're fast, and they're getting up and down the floor. So they're running out of transition. Got to beat them to the punch. Thanks very much, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. And hello again. What a showing tonight. A sold-out building is where the action is happening. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Penny the Jet Smith. Taking a look at the Rockets... It's been a tough series for them so far, trailing three games to one. 
but they've clearly still got some fight left in them. First half of game five, they are playing very well, and they're out to prove they can stick around for at least another game. What do you think, Shaq, about the first half we saw from the Rockets? You know what, Ernie? I got to stand up on this one. I salute to their bench. Man, once the starters came out, man, the others just came to life. You got to love seeing that kind of contribution come from the others. Man, they look beautiful tonight. Kenny, what do you have to say about the Jazz? They ran into a bustle, and it was on full collapse. Once they fell behind, the crowd got into it, and it seemed that they lost a lot of confidence. They started pressing, forcing things, and it made it work. So in the second half, relax, man. Just remember, there's two more quarters. It's a fresh, fresh start. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. Again, as our round one coverage continues, we've seen Eric Gordon really having a great game. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And, and as they can't slow him down, you know what you do? You keep feeding them and feeding them and feeding them. This is the right game plan. NBA playoffs round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. Tucker and Capella are up front, and it's Green in at the three. That's the five for Houston right now. Bogdanovich passes to Mitchell. That one misses. Harden with the defensive effort, and now running it up the court. Green pushing it all the way. Here's Mitchell, and that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got four assists now tonight. Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his three. Now, here is Harden. Lob pass to Capella. It's stolen by Gobert. Here's Mitchell. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Mitchell against Harden. Lays it up off the glass. Harden's got six. Oh, the bearded one cannot be intimidated. No matter how much contact Harden takes, he'll still find a way to finish. And Gobert gets to Conley. Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. Here is Harden. Six points for him. And the layup's good off the glass. Time out, time out. Now it's a six-point rocket lead. But when Harden sees a clear lane to the hoop, just move out the way. He jumps on it. So relentless in how he exploits open space. Utah calls timeout. So Conley will bring the ball up for the Jazz. They trail by six. The drive by Mitchell. No good. Good tee by Harden. Here's Westbrook. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got three assists now in this one. He's having a great night from the floor. They're going to keep leaning on him. Look at the throw. Gobert dishes to Conley. Passes it to Bogdanovich. Rebounded by Capella. Capella's got his sixth rebound on the night. And Westbrook, here we go. Right through the knee for the layup. 
And now a 10-point Houston lead. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. Mitchell against Harden. Four on the clock. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second-chance buckets, timeout, timeout. always the result of that extra effort. Timeout called the Rockets. substitution here. Tyson Chandler is checked in for Clint Capella. Manuel House comes in for P.J. Tucker. Eric Gordon, he's checked in for Gerald Green. And it's Rivers in for Russell Westbrook. Utah also making some changes. Ed Davis is checked in for Bogdanovich. Moutier comes in for Mitchell. And it's Exum in for Mike Conley. Now the pass to Ingles. Rockets with the rebound. Come on. You, you got to get up on him and play some defense. They won't get away with that next time. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Moutier against Harden. Let's it go with a three. It's rebounded by Houston. Chandler's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Now here's Rivers. He's guarded closely. Harden outside. Basket number five goes in. He's now five of 12 from the floor. Jazz trail by 10. Moutier passes to Gobert. He dishes it to Ingles. Out left to the wing. Tries again. Here's Moutier. Stolen by Harden. And it's Houston on the break. Harden's got the ball. He shoots again. He had stolen by Ingles. Pass break. Here come the Jazz. Now, here's Exum. Defended by Gordon. Moutier with the ball. Shot clock at five. Davis gets to Moutier. Over Harden. That one off the back iron and out. His offense has been non-existent tonight. This really hurt him. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Harden's got 12. There is the unselfishness that coaches love so much. Rivers doing a great job getting it to the open man. Moutier with the bounce pass. Now, here's Ingles. He's guarded close. Here's Exum. With one on the clock, and it's Davis finishing it off. And how about the offensive rebound with a little extra punch on the putback? You're right, Craig. As they look to trim the deficit, could we see them send a few more bodies to the boards from here on out? He made it! That's how you beat the clock, baby. Yeah. That's how you beat the clock. Wow, what a way to finish up the quarter. Every once in a while, a prayer like that somehow finds the net. Well, it's been an exciting game. Plenty of offense as we head to the fourth quarter. Rockets lead by seven. We'll be back shortly live from Houston, Texas. And how about a look now at our assist to the game? Brought to you by State Farm. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. <laughs> no, that's quick decision making. You see a guy open, you can't hesitate. That, that, that's an outstanding play. And 
and we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. Taking a look at the Jazz. Only runs the point with Mitchell flanking him. Green is out there with O'Neal. And it's Davis at the center filling out the middle. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. And he's playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they're going to him with such consistency. Gerald Green, he's checked in for James Harden. And a switcher also for Utah. Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Green. And so it's Houston with it. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Pass to Gordon. With the shot. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And if you ask me what percentage of the time he's making that shot, my answer would be in the single digits. Yeah, that's not his spot. Plain and simple. He's trying to force something. It's rarely a good idea. Outside, Green. O'Neal with the defensive effort. Utah trailing here. Over Green. O'Neal misses. And so Green will bring it up for the Houston Rockets. Great open look there. And it's 13 points for Eric Gordon. His teammates keep getting him the ball in his favorite spot. He's done a lot for his shooters. Here's Conley. Softly drops in the floater. A real weapon of Conley's. I mean, he has a floating jump shot down. Timeout, timeout. It's almost unguardable. Timeout called the Rockets. Checked in for Houston. Westbrook comes in for Rivers. Utah also making some changes. Gobert, he's checked in for Davis. And it's Joe Ingles in for O'Neal. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, during that break, Mike D'Antoni talked to his team. He said, I love how we're shooting the basketball. You guys have been locked in from three. Just keep taking makeable shots. If you don't have it, pass it to the guy who does. Kevin? That's not a shot a lot of guys can hit. Green is one of them. You gotta love the range. Mitchell, this is to Gobert. To the paint. Here's Conley. Westbrook with the block. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. Green leading the charge. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Mitchell. Green finds Westbrook. Here's Gordon. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. Pavkanovich wide open. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Boy, they've been terrific from beyond here in the second. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Rebounded by Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell's got four rebounds in this game. Conley gets the bucket. Oh, man, the timing, the precision. Conley is ready to fire as soon as the ball hit his hands. Westbrook feeling it out a bit. Another miss by Houston. Oh, he's not going to miss that shot twice here, though. Trust me. Mitchell passes to Conley to take the lead, and that's two points on the layup. 
Conley's got seven points for the quarter. And this has been a great job of just getting into the timeout, middle timeout. of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Timeout called the Rockets. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. And he's had the hot hand tonight, Kevin, no doubt about it. He's gotten his field goal percentage up over 60, and you're only going to get it that high when you're taking good, smart shots. James Harden, he's checked in for Eric Gordon. Quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Now here's Tucker. Ingles covering. Near the three-point line, it's Westbrook. Another miss by Houston. On offense, here are the Jazz. They're on a 15-6 run. Mitchell finds Ingles. Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. And it's Harden with the ball for Houston. A two-point game. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. One fifty-two left in the fourth quarter. Mitchell against Harden. Mitchell kicks to Ingles. Elbow shot. Up again. And there's Gobert putting it right back in. He makes so many hustle plays, and, and here he's working the offensive glass to the tip. Westbrook up top for Mike Conley. Westbrook with the bucket. And it's the fearlessness of Westbrook. It's really refreshing to watch. When he's deep inside, he just goes right at you. Mitchell looking it over. Over Harden, and there's another one for the Jam. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. We see this all too often. You have to be willing to. It's to Westbrook. He doesn't hit that one. So Utah will take it the other way. Bogdanovich dishes to Eagles. Mitchell is going. Nice ball movement by Utah. And slam dunk by Gobert. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Yeah, he approached that one with total confidence. He has what it takes to come through in the clutch. Here's Westbrook. Capella trying to free himself up. They get it back. Just five on the clock. A deep three from Green. But they get it back. And a deep three from Harden. It drops. And what a sensational bucket to bring down within one. He wants the ball. They want him to have the ball. And as usual, he comes through in the clutch. Yeah, you, you can't let him hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Good, and that will put them up by two. And 
so both free throws are good. And it's a three-point game. Comes through big. Now they can put everything they have into guard against the team. Timeout called the Rockets. They're trailing by three. Eight seconds left to play in the final quarter. What do you think, guys? And if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a foul. Yeah, they have a little time to work with. The most important thing is to make whatever you take. Seconds left in the fourth quarter. And it's Green missing. And they need to stop the clock, so there's a foul. Four-point cushion. And so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. Oh, you got to just have a sense of calm at the moment. He has it here. And he just put the game to bed. And they're going to move on to the conference semifinals. They had control the whole series, and they are just rolling now, winning round one, four games to one. And they are going to be tough to beat, Kevin. A few days rest afforded by taking this one in five. Round two should be exciting as well. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin, with Dante Exum. Dante, still a young guy in this league. What do you want to focus on with your development? Um, you know, I think it's just staying in the defensive end. You know, sometimes in the heat of the play, you kind of lose sight of it. And it's just about staying in there and just helping your teammates out. So, A very young guy on a very good team. Thank you, Dante. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA Western Conference quarterfinals. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. <laughs>